Hello, this is Mihai from freshforecast.com and in this tutorial I'll give you a quick tour of uh, our services. So first of all we um, organize our services into modules and under each, like supply, weather, production and so on, and under each module you will see several tabs. Each tab would have its own data and you see at the bottom how much data there is in each tab. So this one has 120,000 records. Um, and uh, it contains one type of information. So for instance, this tab contains non-European exports. And uh, what you have on the right-hand side, uh, you have filters. So you can select different products in here. You can have multiple selections or single selections. Um, and you can, uh, uh, you can change the type of chart from these uh, buttons here. So let's say we look at the total value of um, avocado and we can drill down into uh, specific uh, origins, for example, here on the side, let's say we'll look at only avocados coming out of Mexico, and we want to break those down, those volumes down by market, and we see that the main uh, destination is the US. That's quite simple. Uh, maybe we want to clear all these uh, filters, we can go one by one, or we can just click this button, clear all the filters, and let's say look at sales uh, um, by destination continent. Um, other uh, tabs, for instance, this would be European exports. Uh, in this case, we're looking at raspberries uh, from Spain and Poland, and we compare the shape of the season uh, from one year to, to the other. Um, European imports, um, in this case, I've selected, so you, you see that we always have the, the filter in, um, in the subtitle. Uh, for instance, here I could uh, look at um, the fruit selection and add uh, watermelon to the mix. Um, so here I have melon and watermelon import into the UK and we see the Spanish season, we see the Brazilian season, Costa Rica, Honduras and so on. Um, so we've got, uh, these are the uh, European imports. Um, then uh, let's take a couple of more examples. For instance, these are weekly exports out of Chile, uh, beautiful data. These are grapes uh, by variety. Um, US imports, um, again, look at volume and value. Um, you can break them down by, uh, by any dimension. Again, there's some uh, demographics data here as well. You might want to look at the population by region or by country and so on, GDP per capita, uh, um, to use in your, in, in your planning exercises. So that's the supply module. Now, moving on to the weather module. Uh, here, obviously, you see weather. Uh, this example is a, a station in uh, South Africa, but you can choose from uh, 40,000 weather stations all around the world. You can uh, choose, a, you can select a different uh, a certain period. Uh, again, the subtitles are quite useful, so they tell you what you're looking at in more detail. You can hover over the chart. Um, you have uh, average temperature, minimum and maximum temperature, wind speed, relative humidity, cloud cover, um, you can see that in a table format and so on. Next up is production. So in production, you would look at your uh, forecasts and your actual production um, by fruit, um, by uh, variety, um, um, or by farm and so on. And so it's very easy to compare how well your forecasting uh, is, is helping your, your sales team. Um, that's the human forecast. Um, in here, the, the second tab, live forecast, is um, what we call our automated forecast solution. So here, for instance, you would look at, uh, let's take up, um, we look at different varieties. In this example, it's strawberries. Um, we look at, let's say, Sonata, we, we split it by farm, and we can see how uh, the error looks in, in different weeks. So, and, and then, yeah, of course, you can edit the, the planting parameters and then trigger the live forecast again. So that's the production module. Um, and then uh, we go into the sales module. Um, here, let's look at an example of a um, variance chart. Um, so here we're comparing, again, I'm, I'm clicking on a period in, in, the, in the chart. And, um, and that determines what, what we're looking at. Um, let's say we, we just want to filter um, you know, banana sales uh, or, or apple sales and uh, ooh, that's a big loss so um, let's look at grapes 
who doesn't like grapes. So we, we're looking at March sales. Let's uh, look at cumulative um, March sales. So we're looking at total Q1. There's a very nice uh, growth in grapes, uh, 165,000 euro. Where does that come from? We can see that it's all coming from volume growth and there's a small negative mix effect and uh, there's a there's some negative price effect as well. And here you would rank your uh, customers or you can rank your sales managers, your suppliers and so on. So that would be a very quick overview of uh, the um, modules that you can find uh, on freshforecast.com. If you have any questions, uh, we're here. Success.